in a, uh, a kakiaji dish, like this tempura that we're making, it's got red onions, it's got celery, and some chopped parsley, and one of my favorite, sweet potato, and of course, some green onions that we're gonna put into this dish. We're gonna mix all of this together. We're gonna fry it up golden brown. Let's get started. So a lot of people ask me, what is julienne? And julienne is something that is a really nice, thin, stripped vegetable like this. And the reason why we do this is because you want this dish to cook really, really quick. And that's why we have thin vegetables. Let me show you how to do this. So I have my knife that I start like this, and I'm just cutting really, really thin strips. And then once I have a little bit like this, then I line them all up. You can do a little bit. You know, you can line them up like this. And then what I do is I put my fingers, and I sort of tuck my fingernails under. And let's just show you like this. Just really nice and slow. You gotta be comfortable with it. And there you go. That is julienne. So once you got all of your vegetables ready to go, we're gonna take our walleye fillet. So this is a really nice small fillet here, and we're only gonna cut it really in about like two and a half, three inch sections, like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them this way into thin strips, sort of like the uh, the vegetables. You want this to cook really quick. Okay, so the next step is let's season this walleye. My favorite, kosher salt. I always want the salt and the pepper actually touching the meat and not necessarily in the just in the flour itself. The flavors just really pop when you do that. All our prep pretty much done here. We're getting the oil heated, and I like heating it to around 385 degrees. And in a lot of my videos and recipes, I say use a heavy bottom pot. Why is that? It keeps a lot of the heat in, and we're actually using a cast iron pot or a Dutch oven, and a thermometer is really, really important. Um, uh, there's nothing worse than uh, getting it too hot and uh, catching fire or boiling over. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get all of these ingredients ready and we're going to go to the stove. All right, it's tempura time. Flour. Now we're going to put a little bit of salt in there. And the reason why I've got these chopsticks is that you don't use a whisk, you don't use a spatula, you can, you can use a fork, but if you over mix this, it gets tough. And the thing is, uh, a tough tempura batter is just not uh, desirable. So you always add your liquid into your dry. And all I'm going to do is just gently mix and just kind of bring it together. It's almost like a, um, a pancake batter. And you always want your water to be really nice and cold. Cold water it doesn't develop the gluten so really you know you want to have a few lumps you know in your tempura batter and and don't be afraid you know to just kind of leave it like this and those flour sort of bubbles and and lumps will come out when you are uh, deep frying it leave it like this okay let's mix all the ingredients so we've got our parsley and then we've got our green onions, beautiful color. And then let's put our red onions in and our celery. Don't let anyone tell you wrong. This is going to be a healthy, tasty, crispy dish. Now our seasoned walleye, let's get it in there. So now my fancy little uh, tweezers here mix it together how simple is that this is pretty much all ready to go for the deep fryer so let me just talk a little bit about consistency of this mixture let's take a look at it yeah you're gonna get your hands dirty it's all about a nice consistency where it's gonna stay together in the oil that is the most important thing all right here we go our kakiaji 
This could be at home or on the ice. It is incredibly simple. So what I'm going to do is kind of gather it together sort of into a ball like this. And then what I do is I take my thumb and I kind of squish it out so it's a little bit flatter. If it's really thick, then it's not going to cook properly because um, it'll be too dense. Okay, so I've got this tin foil on the edge here. And what I do is I just sort of drop it off of the tin foil so it doesn't splash. Perfect. The oil is at a perfect temperature. Smooth this aside. We're going to be looking for a little bit of color on here. Let's take a look. Okay, it looks beautiful. Let's flip it over. And really, we want to make sure that it's cooked. Move it around a little bit. And you can do this one at a time, as long as you're not overloading the pot and then the oil temperature does not decrease. So I'm looking for a nice golden brown, delicious. Let's take a look. That looks fantastic. So we've got all of the, the batter and everything is cooked. I can see that the vegetables are cooked. Now we're gonna put it over here and let's do the other ones. Okay, look at this. So this is a beautiful tempura walleye kakiaji deep fried bundle of goodness here. So what we're gonna serve this with is a ponzu soy sweet chili and I like a little kick in there. Uh, and that's it. I don't know about you. I'm going to enjoy this.